Hello, it's Vicki with Cognitive Systems Technical Support, and I am in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to show you how to use the Erase tool in Photoshop. The Erase tool is a great tool to use for rasterized images and um, bitmaps so that you can very easily come in and do away with parts of the image that you don't want to show up, or if you're just trying to um, uh, uh, take out something within the image that uh, you don't want to show up or to be part of your uh, overall graphic design. So if you want to do that, uh, you can use the eraser tool. It works really well as one way to uh, manipulate images. And uh, I find it um, it's a great tool to use. You can also change the radius of it and uh, we'll show you how to do that. So first thing you want to do is get an image on your page, some sort of rasterized image that you can use just for practice. And this is just a little practice image. And again, uh, with most of my videos, they're pretty basic just to show you how to use, uh, get you started using tools and what they do, kind of things that uh, you can do with them. So uh, I'm going to come over here with the image up. If you don't have an image up, just go to File, Open, and uh, browse around to find the image that you want to pull in. And then um, go ahead and click OK and it'll come up on your screen. So this, this is my image. This is what I've chosen to work with as this demonstration goes on. Um, I'll show you how this eraser tool will work. Come over to your left and you're going to choose your eraser tool. If you don't know which one it is, if you just hover over something about three to five seconds, it'll pop up and show you what the tools are. You see how that works? Okay. Uh, I've chosen the eraser tool, but if you haven't, just to show you, you'll see things uh, get darker as you click on them. So I'm going to click on the eraser tool. If you don't see the eraser tool, hold down your left key and uh, just uh, the menus will pop out and you'll be able to see um, other things that uh, are behind that eraser tool or in front of the eraser tool. Okay, so again, choose the eraser tool only and uh, it'll gray out. Now what happens when you choose a tool, as always I've said, uh, this menu up here will change. Uh, so when you select a tool, you can see, just to show you again, how the menu up the top changes based on the tool that you have selected. And what that means is these are the things you can do with the tool. So it gives you uh, several different um, options here, the opacity, flow, all these uh, modes and brush styles that you can use with the tool. Also, this is the one uh, you're going to be critiquing a lot because this is your ratio. This is how big your eraser tool will be. You can even get really fine uh, as far as a really fine point of erasing around an image. It's a lot of detail involved, but as with any graphic designer or d design program, there's detail. So um, usually you want to start off pretty big in size when you're starting off erasing. You want to make sure that um, you have a tool that you can go ahead and just knock out a lot of area. And um, the harshness is here. This would be the sharpness. You can also just jump down here and just swipe using some of these tools that are already selected for you. So again, it has all kinds of patterns and neat little stamps that you can play around with. But I just want to show you the basics of the tool. Okay, so I've selected a ratio, and as if you if you move your cursor over, you can see how big now your uh, area is when we start a race and see how that works. All right, so if that was too big, you'd probably scroll down. You can move over here and see that it's gotten smaller, and also your uh, your hardness can change as well. See how it just leaves a little spray around it if you change your hardness. Um, it's it's more of a of a mist around the edges just to let you know so there's all kinds of fancy things you can do in here okay all kinds of fancy things alright uh, so your erase tool works really well with erasing around areas which you don't want to show up in your overall graphic so I'm going to start off with this size here just to demonstrate and again this is not going to be perfect uh, this is something that you're going to practice with at home and we're just going to erase, start erasing some area. And we're going to take out some of these green. And the more you release your mouse, the more you can go back. Say, for instance, I mess up 
and I go into the flower. I can do a control Z and that takes me back one step. Now if I'm just holding down my mouse and erasing stuff and never letting up, then when I go back, you know, then I, I, I'm going back all the way to the last time I actually released the mouse. So I like to, to release the left click every once in a while just so if I mess up I don't have as much to do over if that makes sense I hope. So again, and if you want to zoom in on this image so that you can uh, see it better, uh, I recommend you hold your control button down and then click your plus. If you click your plus, it zooms in. Okay, so that's the hot key for zooming in. And if I want to zoom out, I hold my control key and click my minus. So you see how that works. So I want to get a little closer. And I also want to make my um, area a little smaller now that I'm closer. And so now I can get really um, detailed up closer and release my release your mouse every once in a while so you can um, basically if you had to go back you won't go you won't have to go as far back. So again, you just get up close as you can and this is base basic stuff here on how to use the erase tool. And as you can see as I'm clicking, I'm erasing closer to the uh, to the actual graphic and now I can just erase that and that's how it works and then I can just sweep this out right here and as I get closer in to these tight places I can change my my area uh, in which I'm, I'm erasing I can get really fine and use some real detail here and that's how it works also the harshness I can change that the hardness of of around the edges so again that's how you work with the erase tool you also have some brush options here block where you can change it to a square or a pencil so if you want to uh, square it off rather than circle it off you have your uh, you have this block option which works well uh, and then you have some, uh, you have your erase history where you can come in here and just kind of go back and see. Once you have that clicked, you can just click back to an earlier stage or an earlier point where you've, uh, rather than going back one increment at a time, you can actually click on that um, that one uh, erase erasement that you want, if that makes sense, rather than doing a, a control Z or going back all the way, you can just click on the one thing you want to erase. So again, that's how you use the erase tool. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. My name is uh, Vicki. I'm with Condi Systems. Feel free to give me a call. Again, this is Vicki with Condi. Thank you.